lately I've been really obsessed with these nail wraps um, from different companies. I want something that is fast, that lasts a really long time, that is super easy to put on and take off. And I've noticed that there's a lot of stuff out there. I thought, am I really getting my money's worth? polish on my nails today and the first one we're gonna do is just your standard quick dry nail polish um, this one is Rimmel London 60 second polish and we're gonna top that with a Sechevite I don't know how to say that top coat that's supposed to be quick dry as well nail number two is gonna be the Sally Hansen miracle gel because I've been um, using this for a really really long time and for a while this was my go-to because it doesn't take a long time to dry pretty much stays on my nails for a considerable amount of time and it's super easy to take off. So this is just a Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. You can see I've had this top coat for a little while. Um, that's going to be the second one. The next one is going to be Color Street Nail Wraps. Now these nail wraps are made by a company here in the United States. It's supposed to be real nail polish and it's supposed to have the base coat, the top coat, and the color or the design all in one. So you're not supposed to have to do anything else except for prep your nail and put these on. Next one is gonna be Jamberry Nail Wraps. These nail wraps are supposed to have everything in one. Again, um, they do require a little bit more work, which we'll get into in a minute, uh, but everything is supposed to be in here. The last one is going to be these nail wraps from Dashing Divas. These I found at my local store, um, and there's quite a few in here actually. So these are supposed to be comparable to the Color Street and the Jamberry nail wraps. Um, so we'll try those as well. So those are the five ones that we're gonna put on my nails today. Now, what I'm looking for, I'm actually gonna score each of these to figure out what is the best product for me at this time. Every category is gonna be worth five points for a total of 30 points on this. So we're gonna look at how easy it is to obtain, so the accessibility of the product. We're gonna look at how long it wears for. So most of these say between 10 to 14 days, so we'll check in on that as we go through. The next is gonna be the ease of the application. So how easy is this stuff to put on? Does it take a long time to dry? Um, do I have to deal with a bunch of issues getting it on my nails? The fourth category is going to be cost. How much is, does this cost me to start? The last category is variety. And what I'm talking about with variety is how many designs or colors are available across the board for these products. Now, of course, with the nail wraps, you're gonna have more design opportunities, whereas the polish, you're gonna to have to lean more towards doing nail art on yourself, which if you're like me, is tedious. Um, we're gonna just stick with the nail wraps for nail art designs. But the variety is a score category in itself. Again, each of these categories is worth five points, so there is an opportunity for a total of 30 points. I've scored everybody on a few categories already, which were accessibility, cost, and variety. Currently, as you can see, the quick dry polish is actually in the lead with 12 points. The quick dry polish, I'm doing the Rimmel London 60 second polish and the Sesha Vite quick dry top coat. Um, the Rimmel London polish actually just says to top it with a top coat. It doesn't say anything about a base coat. So we're following the directions on the website. Now this one doesn't really cover in one coat. So we're going to have to let that dry. So that's going to take up a little bit of time, but let me go ahead and do the pinky nail on the other hand. This is not opaque in one coat. It's hard to see on the camera. Actually, you can still see my nail through it a little bit. Some streaks there I'm trying to get that on. So that's going to take a second. We're going to have to wait for that to dry before we can apply a second coat and then the top coat. The next one I'm going to try is going to be the Sally Hansen. I'm going to put that on my middle finger. Um, I have already uh, washed my hands, pushed my cuticles back, all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to put Sally Hansen on my middle finger nail. And again, this is the Sally Hansen gel polish. This brush is broken. Look. Look how broken that brush is. So I have had this happen with a few of my Sally Hansen polishes before. So we're gonna go ahead and attempt to apply this with the brush that's left. 
this is just something we got to deal with, I guess, when we're using this product. So hopefully this is a problem that they've fixed. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my middle finger now. And again, this is not opaque in one coat. So we're going to have to come back after this one dries as well and see about that one. So this is difficult to maneuver with a broken brush. Um, so we're going to have to let this one dry before we can come back to it. Let me check on that quick dry. That quick dry is actually already dry, so we're going to go ahead and put the second coat on there. So that was really quick, you guys. This is dry too, this Sally Hansen. So I'm going to go in with my second coat on the Sally Hansen now. This actually looks pretty opaque in those two coats. It's hard to see on my skin, and it does look pretty decently opaque. Color Street Nails, I've used these before many, many, many times. Um, this is actually my go-to nail wrap. I'm kind of getting bored with the patterns that they have. Apparently they have 133 designs, but a lot of them to me are a little bit more mature or they're sports related, which my kid plays soccer, but that's about it. I purchased Color Street through a local representative from Color Street, so it's easy for me to get, but if you don't have a vendor near you, it might be a little bit more difficult. So that's why the accessibility score is a little bit lower. Inside you've got two, there's two sets in here. So there's two strips in this little packet here. There's two in there. The nail wraps, it comes with these alcohol wipes to prep your nails and a little nail file to file off the excess nail when we get to that point. This is not the one that pack that we're using, but this is the one I wanted to show you guys. The one thing I don't like about color straight nails, and this is legit the one thing because everything else I love, but the one thing I don't like about the color straight nails is once you open this pack, it's very difficult to keep the rest of the nails inside from drying out. Now I've gone so far as to seal this packet back up with a food sealer, um, but I have noticed that they still don't last as long. They're harder to put on when you do open the pack again. So technically I can get two full manicures out of this, um, including maybe a pedicure, but because it's hard to seal, you have to use them within a few weeks of doing it. So you're going to have to basically wear this entire packet um, for a whole month in order to get the actual life out of it. That's one thing I have noticed. In order to not waste my packs, I have a few samples from one of my reps local here that I buy from. So she's given me a few of these little sample packets. We're gonna use this gold sample today. Before we do the Color Street nail, the pinky nail is dry, so we're gonna go ahead and put the top coat on the quick dry. I've gotten into the habit of putting two layers of top coat on um, just to give it that extra super glossy shine. While we're waiting for the rest of these to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and open this sample pack from Color Street Nails and show you how it works. Okay, it didn't tell me anything in the video about prepping my nail, but on the packet, it tells me for best results, clean nails before use. So I would assume if I had never used this before that it would be with these alcohol strips or these alcohol wipes. So I have used them before and I know that that's what they mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use one of these Color Street alcohol wipes. So on this hand, I'm gonna do my ring finger. So I'm gonna prep the ring finger nail over here by rubbing it with the alcohol wipe. And on this other finger, I'm doing the pointer because that's, the sample I have available. So it's telling us to go ahead and pick the strip that we want for size and then to peel off this clear, this clear film. There you can see it. So we're going to take that clear film and peel it off the top here. And then we are peeling off our color. So you just lift up the silver tab right here. The silver tab peels up. Oops. So I'm just going to lift that up. And I'm going to set that down on my fingernail. And rub it in on one side and stretch it to fit. These are a little pliable, so you can lightly stretch them to fit over the whole nail. So as you can see here, I've covered the nail on both sides of my finger just by stretching it a little bit. I'm gonna rub it down because I've been told that the heat of my finger will actually help it stick a little better. Now, I don't wanna waste this, and this is actually what I do when I use them on a regular basis. So I'm gonna just use my fingernail and push down where it ends and take this piece and put it on the other side. So now that I've already prepped this nail, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this wrap to this nail. 
So it wasn't quite where I wanted it. So I'm just gonna lift it a little bit, maneuver it. They are pliable, like I said. So if you can tell, it's not really gonna touch the end of my nail on that side. So I'm just gonna pull it to make it stretch and wrap the rest of my nail. So I've done that, I pulled it. So it's actually wrapped the rest of my nail. I did apply it a little bit over this cuticle, so I'm just gonna try and press that off with just with the sharpness of my nail. And there we go. So I've pulled it off my cuticle. If you can see there, it's now off my cuticle. I am noticing that it's not as opaque as I would like it to be. I'm gonna go ahead and file it. So I'm just gonna open this little file that they have. Now I'm just gently, just gently filing the end of um, this nail so that I can get the extra off. So I filed it off, there's no extra there anymore, um, and it's just the gold color on my nail. You can see how sheer it is, because you can see my smile line and everything through this gold polish. So I do wish it was a little more opaque, um, but I have heard that you are able to put these over top of other colors that they have. Now that we've got that one on, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other nails real quick. Put my second top coat of this on, and the Sally Hansen top coat. So next we're gonna do Jamberry, and I've already got some cut from this main strip here, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my thumb. I've already measured it, so I know that this wrap will fit my thumb the best. They said remove the oil and shine, so I don't like buffing my nails, but I will do this because that's what they're recommending. Okay, these are sufficiently dull. Okay, and then it says to prep them right with this white. So this is the one I want. If I can get it off this thing. It says to cut it to size. Let's cut it. Ugh. Is that the right size? I should have checked that first. It is, okay. Whew. This is a tiny little heater, but it gets hot. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can move it closer to the camera so you can see what it's doing. Oh, there we go. Now it's like curling. Let's see if I can show you. It's like curling. Okay. Um, I should probably apply it, right? I feel like I should trim this closer because it's like really long. If you look underneath, most of that is, this is my shorthand. So that's all just nail wrap. And so I'm wondering if I should have clipped it shorter it says to just do this and that it should come right off. So 90 degree angle, so I'm trying to stay straight. It's just taking a really long time. The color street didn't take this long. Yeah, it came off, okay. So it looks like there's still a little bit of gunk in the center and along the edges. Well, that looks pretty clean and neat on that application so far. Looks pretty good. It doesn't look like it's too messed up on the tip there. So we're gonna go ahead and move on and do the other thumb. So I'm glad I stopped to look because I didn't heat it back up once it was on my nail, which apparently you're supposed to do. So, oh, that's hot. Okay, ha. Ah. And then apply pressure again, she says. I mean, I feel like that's pretty good. Nice and shiny. Actually, I think applying the heat a second time made it shinier, if you look. We're gonna leave the heater on and go ahead and do the other hand. So I mean, the application, other than heating it, the application between this and the Color Street are really kind of the same. I will say though, these are a lot thicker than the Color Street. Uh, so it is a little bit harder to maneuver. And I'm wondering if that's because these aren't real nail polish. I don't know if they are or not, I can't say. But on the Color Street packaging, it says real nail polish, 100% real nail polish. So I don't know if that makes a difference in how thin it is. Although this pattern's really cute. There's the second one, both little thumbs, all done in the Jamberry. The next one we're gonna do is the Dashing Diva Gloss Collection. Um, these are Ultra Shine Gel Strips. Oh, there's more directions inside and it comes with a little uh, nail file. There's so many options for sizes. I'm gonna err on the side of caution and do one that's Slightly there, this one works. Okay, so the blue on these are a little sheer. And then the gold, we're looking at the same situation as the Color Street Gold, where it's a little bit sheer as well. I mean, if I'm looking at the Jamberry, that's also a little bit sheer. So I'm wondering if that's just a nail wrap situation where they are a little bit sheer. Like if they're not as um, 
opaque as they should be. Select the proper size, apply from the cuticle line and cover the entire nail surface. Press down firmly from center and side to side. So again, because these are short, I am gonna have to use two different ones instead of just the one. Ooh, these are thick like the Jamberry. Well, once it's on my nail, it doesn't look too sheer, but it's also a darker color, so I don't know if that makes a difference. Then fold excess material, fold, and file with long strokes in a single direction using the white side of the file. Finish with gray side of nail file to smooth out nail edge. That's the end of the application for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the packet. Honestly, if these last for as long as I hope that they do, it says that they're gonna last for 14 days. So if they do last that long, I like these. Based on the, the price and the, um, the application process was really easy. It applied like the Color Street, but they don't dry out. It seems like they're fine, like they're just stickers in here. So we'll have to come back in and, and see at the end of the video what all that's about. Now that everything is on, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the last top coat for my gel polish. Okay, so it looks like we're done. And I have, my nails look kind of funny because I've literally got something different on every single nail. Everything is on there. So we've got our quick dry on the pinky nail, uh, color street on the ring finger here. Middle finger is Sally Hansen. The pointer finger on this one is the Dashing Diva. And of course our thumb has the Jamberry on it. So they're all starting out looking really, really nice on both hands. We're gonna check back in and see what it looks like and what's going on. Now, I am not going to just sit there and do nothing for the next two weeks. I work with my hands a lot at work. Of course, I'm a mom, so I've got soccer practice and stuff to go to with my kid. These are going to see a normal amount of usage and wear and tear. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is gonna be pretty normal as far as everyday person wear and tear and use. So let's see how they hold up.